just the money. Stay here, Walker. In my future, you're dead. I see you plan too far ahead. Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 1994 classic Jean-Claude Van Damme science fiction action film, Time Cop. The film is directed by Peter Hyams and it stars, of course, Jean-Claude Van Damme, Mia Sarah, Ron Silver, Bruce McGill and Gloria Rubin. Now, the film initially is set in 1994, I believe, um, at the time this film came out. And we learn, or we are told, that uh, time travel has now become possible. Um, so they go to the, like, the US Senate and essentially say, right, we know this is possible now. The, the effects could be catastrophic if someone goes back in time and changes things. We need to police this. So they put together a group of uh, time police officers uh, for which Jean-Claude Van Damme has been chosen to be a part of. Uh, it's then moved forward 10 years um, and he has now been working as a time cop for a decade um, and he, he crosses paths with Ron, Ron Silver's character McComb who is a US senator who has got his eyes set on becoming the next president. So he has been going back in time or sending people back in time in order to steal money for him to fund his campaign. However, Jean-Claude Van Damme is determined to stop him as he is not allowed to go back in time to save his wife who was killed yeah, 10 years previously. So he is determined not to let this uh, corrupt senator go back in time to steal money. Right. What are my thoughts on Time Cop? Well, this is, um, I think, a pretty solid um, film number one and Jean-Claude Van Damme film number two. I think this is one of his better, certainly, films when he was at the height of his popularity. And there's a few reasons for that. Um, number one is I like sci-fis. Um, these sort of films can be really, really entertaining. And number two, it was directed by Peter Hyams, who is one of my favourite directors. He's highly underrated, I think, Peter Hyams, and he's done um, a huge amount of films that I consider to be really, really good. Things like End of Days, The Relic, Sudden Death, the other Van Damme film he did with him. In fact, he's done another one as well, I think. Running Scared and Capricorn One. He's been going a long time and he's been consistently good in his direction, Peter Hyams. So a very, very steady hand to do this film. Uh, and my understanding is I think he and Jean-Claude Van Damme got on quite well and apparently I think it's been reported Jean-Claude Van Damme has said that when he was in um, um, getting help for his addictions and things like that, Peter Hyams is the only certainly film director he'd ever worked with that came to visit him to see how he was. Which says a lot, I think, about their relationship. Now, the film, obviously any, any film that dabbles with time travel generally can sometimes get bogged down in the whole as Doctor Who says timey wimey wibbly wobbly stuff this one doesn't if you like get bogged down in it too much it, it, it simplifies it quite a lot it says you can't you can't go into the future because that hasn't happened yet but you can go into the past um, and like I say it, it doesn't overly complicate it other than saying you can't be um, you can't you and you and the person in the past, if you meet and touch sort of thing, um, it could be catastrophic because you can't be in the same place at the same time, you, bo both of yous, which it plays around with later on in the film, obviously. If you've seen the film, you know. But I think this is done pretty well. It, it It's fairly easy to follow for a time. Sometimes time travel films can get very complex and confusing and frustrating to watch because they kind of keep chipping themselves up with... You know breaking their own rules or whatever this one doesn't overly complicate things to go back in time you go in this machine it shoots you through this thing and then boom you're back in where you need to be and then you've got a button that you press that brings you back to the present day it's really as simple as that generally speaking and it cleverly doesn't try to over explain the technology or anything like that really it's essentially just trying to be a fun sci-fi action film which, for the most part, it, it certainly is. Now, uh, I think this is a decent performance from Van Damme. I've, I've, I've been 
or fairly critical of Van Damme's acting ability, certainly early in his career. And you could argue this is still fairly early in his career, even though it's also at the height of his career and popularity. Um, even though you can see here and there um, a couple of moments where he's not particularly believable, this is, I think, one of the stronger performances. And I think this is a lot of this is down to Peter Hyams, who is a skilled director and a very good director. And the chemistry between him and Mia Sara, who plays his wife in this film, I think is very, very good. Um, you definitely can see the chemistry between those two. But I think the person who really does steal this film, almost from under Van Damme, is Ron Silver, who plays Senator McComb, who plays a wonderful villain here. He's having a great time playing the villain. And if you've seen the film Blue Steel with Jamie Lee Curtis and Clancy Brown, where he plays the killer in that film, um, you can see what an effective villain Ron Silver can be, and he does it again here, um, playing this really greedy, uncompromising senator who will do anything or kill anybody to kind of get what he wants. Um, and he, do, he does it really, really well, and he almost does steal this film, I think, away from Van Damme. Cleverly as well, I think, by Peter Hyam. At the time when I first saw this, it frustrated me a bit because I was really into like Van Damme films when this first came out and I loved his martial arts. Mm -hmm. And when they did movies where they kind of took his martial arts out of the films, I was like, why are you doing that? And I never understood it back in the day in the 90s when they did it because they did it a little bit with this. So you do get him still seem to do quite a bit of martial arts in this film but it's not full-on martial arts all the time. There's lots of shooting and things as well. But they did it with... It, Sudden Death, the, the next film he did, I think, with Peter Hyams, there's not a lot of martial arts in that. And that other film he made... Um, oh, where he's on the bike, I can't remember the name of it now, whether well, there's hardly any in that. To me, the skills of Van Damme is his martial arts. Um, it's not his acting. It never will be, and it never was. So to kind of take take them tools away from him martial arts in movies is, is never a good thing so while this isn't what you would describe as you know his most prominent martial arts film it is certainly a good action film um it's tightly paced as well so it doesn't go on for too long i think the effects for the time this film came out were i think very very impressive and after re-watching this for this review i think they still kind of hold pretty decently today some of them are a little bit dodgy but um they're pretty good certainly for the time the only things i didn't like was the because it's set in 2004 um you know initially in 1994 and then in 2004 and you can see them driving like these futuristic cars in 2004 and even at the time when i first saw this film it they looked rubbish and when you look at it now almost 20 years later we're now in 2023 and we don't drive them sort of cars they look terrible and the you know what i mean it just they had that part hasn't aged well at all um so this was a pretty successful film i think for van damme i think it was i think it made over 100 million certainly worldwide so it, you could describe this as a hit for him certainly i remember quite enjoying this it's, i've always quite enjoyed this um film it's pretty good they did do um a shortly run tv show i believe i think in the late 90s time cop i don't think it lasted beyond the first season i've not seen it and they even did a director dvd sequel um with jason scottley i think in the early noughties again i don't think i've seen that but if i have it was probably so bad i can't remember watching it but I think if you're a fan of Van Damme, um, or if you're a fan of sci-fi action sort of thing, and you've never seen this one, you give it a go. Um, there are some fun elements to it. Ron Silver's performance as the villain is very good. The action's pretty on point, and it's got a pretty decent, at its core, love story between Van Damme and Mia Sara's characters. So, yeah, definitely want to check out, I think, if you're a fan of this. And I think this film still holds up pretty well today. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. I will be back with more reviews and content on the channel very, very soon.